Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We finally got into FIFA Ultimate Team today via the web app. If you were lucky enough to have access, some people are changing accounts I know and stuff, so you're not maybe in yet. But we got in today. We have some stuff to talk about related to that. I'm going to save that kind of towards the end of the video, talking about the market and everything that I did today. I want to talk to you today about what is coming first though, and that is EA Access is today. EA Play, EA Access, you know the drill, same name or different name, same thing. The 10 hour free trial or free trial is what they say with EA Access. Your $5 10 hour trial of FIFA 21 starts today. 4 p.m. UK is when you're going to be able to see and access the EA Play store and when you're going to actually be able to download this product. So you're going to have to do it from the EA Play hub inside your Xbox or inside your PlayStation if you play on either console. It'll show up under the Game Trials tab and you will download the game there. It should start showing up around 4 p.m. UK time. I don't think you can pre-download, but you are gonna have to download the full game, I believe. So that's gonna be putting some time, you know, it's gonna take a little bit of time to do that. That won't count towards your 10 hours. Don't be, don't be, uh, don't worry about that. But that is kind of the first step. And then once you actually load up the game, your 10 hours, I believe, will start. We'll talk about possibility of glitches uh, later on if there actually is a glitch for EA Access. But I just want to talk about what's going to be coming today with EA Access. First things first, this is some info that we got, um, you know, earlier last week with the launch version of the pitch notes. We're getting um, objective content and SBCs and possibly, or and a player vote, not necessarily today, but during the next couple of days, during this early access time frame before October 9th, when the full game releases for everybody, we're getting these early access objectives as perks, I guess, of pre-ordering the game and doing the EA access time frame, that $5, 10 hour trial. Uh, but anything that we could see today is, is listed in here. Of course, we already have team of the week one that is in packs, pre-launch objectives with a chance to earn early access reward pack, which would um, contains an 80 to 84 overall player pick and a 10 game team of the week player. Now there's two things in here that are, that are really interesting because we could see those today. We could see these in the next couple of days. Ones to watch player squad building challenge. We might have our first like player SBC of FIFA 20 on the first day that we even get on the game. How sick would that be? And how crazy would that be for the market? Because what we saw today that people will go to any length necessary or any length needed to just do a simple advanced SBC by like paying 5,000 coins for silvers. People are doing that. That just shows people are addicted to SBCs at any time of the year. Okay. That's all I'm saying. And if it's an SBC for an OTW player that is hype that a lot of people like, and they want to do that card, if it's meta, or if it just is a fan favorite in FIFA or a well-known player, there's going to be a lot of people that want to do that. And there's going to be market movements that happen because of that as well as a player pick vote. I feel like the player pick vote would come out earlier on. That could be actually today when we log on to EA Access or EA Play for the first time. We're also going to have a new live foot friendlies. That's the first live foot friendly we'll ever have. And the first ever um, event, community event, humans versus machine. This is the big thing that I'm interested in. It says compete in this to earn an untradeable prime Electrum players pack. Now, if it's just one game, or something like that. I would play one game for a Prime Electrum Players Pack, but we don't know how much you're gonna have to do today for that EA Access objective to complete it. So that's a big portion uh, of what the kind of questions are today. But again, the 10 hour EA Access trial, 4 p.m. UK is when you st should be able to get into the game for the first time. Sorry, I flipped my head, my uh, face over to this side of the screen because we're doing the web app a lot today and I want to talk about that next. But today is the EA Access big time frame. People are going to be actually getting on and playing games and that's really going to affect the market. As we've already started to see, player prices are starting to rise. I was even looking at players like an hour ago, right? We were looking at guys like Nicolas Pepe live on stream and he was about 9,000 coins. I believe now he's up around 11,000. Yeah, right around 10,000, 11,000 coins. Lucas Hernandez was in the middle 9,000K range. He is now 11,000 coins. You know, cards like Richarlison are, are starting to rise up. Even some, there's some big, big time risers. Usman Dembele. This dude was 25,000 coins early today. He's now 45K. And a lot of these cards are just going to keep going because people are investing in them. As they're getting their coins, they're starting to build teams. But this stuff still has a lot of a ways to go because 
part of what happens today with EA Play is everybody is going to be getting coins and a lot of coins is going to be injected onto this market with the opening of packs with FIFA points. People have, have saved up money. They've put money in. People will be transferring over FIFA points today and opening a lot of packs on foot. So there's going to be a lot of supply in a lot of areas. So that brings up a couple things that I want to talk about. And I just got a really nice sale here. Uh, I think I sold Fakir. Yes, I sold Fakir. GG's. But um, the thing that I want to talk about today is just talking about some cards that are very pricey right now that are low rated, that are at risk. All right. They're like at risk. A lot of you guys are saying, should I keep or sell a Dama Traore 79 rated card with all the coins that are coming on to the game today? And just what we talked about in yesterday's video with the possible of the market inflation that is possible with all the division rivals rewards and the coins that people are going to be getting from those rewards. I feel like players that we all talked about getting, um, you know, even like an Alex Teixeira, right? An Alex Teixeira card who's like 6,500 coins at the moment, I believe. This striker card right here, 93 pace, 79 rated striker card. I don't think there's going to be as much demand for a player like this in the next two or three days. I think you're going to see prices start to fall on the low rated cards that are, you know, starter team type players like Vinicius, right? This is a guy that I would expect to see drop a decent amount as well. He's really expensive right now. He's like 12, 13,000 coins. I would expect these players to drop because they're low rated. They're going to get packed with all the supply and people are getting coins faster than ever. And that means they're going to be upgrading their teams faster than ever. So why would you have a Vinicius when you can go out and buy yourself an Allen St. Maximin because you just made an extra 40,000 coins from division rivals and boom, now you have more coins and you can afford better players. And where do people like to buy players when they get more coins? They like to buy center backs. They like to buy attackers. And especially the the fast, pacey, meta OP players that they're trying to get into their teams. So that's why you're really going to start to see the meta cards really start to, I'm going to call it boom and explode on this market in the next two to three days. Now, there's still some cards that are kind of low that it maybe will fly under the radar. Like this is one for me. This is a card right here that I think is just stupid low. The best French goalkeeper in the game, also a Premier League card, Hugo Lloris. Last year he was 20k. He went up to 40k. This year he's 15, which is stupid cheap. Ter Stegen was really cheap as well. Like you're gonna have a lot of these cards that are just like really, really cheap. I think Neuer was really cheap, like 28, 29,000 coins. So. You know, I'm not saying to invest in goalkeepers. I'm saying look for big time meta cards that are out there. Not not even big time meta cards. Even a guy like Monolas. A lot of people are asking me, like, this is kind of like the best, you know, usable in-game center back in the Serie A. 10,250. I would take that for Monolas right there. I know I can list that at about 13,500. And I'll easily get a sale there because there's only a couple of him up at 13,500. And he's kind of been dropping tonight. So I feel I feel like his price will kind of rebound back to that 13K range. And that's a nice little flip for me right there uh, overnight. That'll be a GG. But um, there's cards like that that are going to really start to rise tomorrow on the market with all the coin injection that comes on. And again, I'm just a little bit scared for some of these guys that are low rated that are really expensive. Again, like Vinicius, who is 12, 13,000 coins as an 80 rated card. I just feel like he's going to get packed a lot and I feel like his price is going to end up dropping in sooner rather than later. Now, some cards are still going to rebound. They're still going to bounce. A lot of cards are still going to go up if it's anything that is meta, right? I was showing this price tonight on stream. This honestly is incredible to me. Kevin De Bruyne is 180,000 coins. Do I need to show you how expensive Kevin De Bruyne was last year on this game? Kevin De Bruyne, 180K. Let's go generations, okay? FIFA night, FIFA 20, Kevin De Bruyne, day one was 215,000 coins. So kind of similar to where he was, to where he is right now. Three, four days later, 430,000 coins. Doubled in price. You thought we had some decent rises tonight on the market? Just wait. The market is going to fly in a lot of different areas. Somebody was telling me like Mane, is 215,000 coins. Wow, I did the wrong price range. 220,000 coins for Mane right now is ridiculous. This card's gonna be double that, maybe even 500,000 coins uh, by the time it's all said and done uh, in, in like a week or so. So you're gonna see a lot of market rise. That's what it really means today with EA Play. 
coming out is that there's going to be so, so much market rise. Now, if you're looking to make coins right now, right? I know a lot of you guys are trying to make coins. You're trying to grind. What happens when people come on the market as well? SBC fodder is going to rise. Now, there's a lot of players that are out there, non-rares and rare cards that are really good for SBCs because of either their position, their nationality, or a combination of the two. I completed the hybrid nations SBC today. And I think in total, it probably cost me around like 20 K and yeah, was it worth it? I kind of broke even maybe packed a couple cards. It was just okay, but you're going to have a lot more people getting on to do these SBCs and you're going to have a lot more pack supply for those cards that are SBC fodder cards, right? So start to look across the game and start to find some cards that you think, Hey, you know, this might be a decent card, you know, Italian left backs. There's this card right here. There's Emerson, and Crescito are very interesting cards to me because they're the only two Italian left backs in this game. Emerson was just a thousand coins tonight and he's already going up. So you can see that there are definitely some people out here uh, that are price fixing this card. What is going on with Emerson, bro? What? Emerson literally just shot up to 2000 coins. So I don't know what's up with that. He was a thousand coins earlier tonight. Um, but then there's only this other Crescito is the only other Italian left back card. And he's like 700 coins. Now, there were a lot of issues with the web app today as well, because he should not be our coins. He should have the ability to go lower, uh, but his price range is set so that some some of the non rares are have price ranges that are weird set at like 650 coins. And that's kind of a problem and an issue. But uh, that is something to kind of think about and, and consider. So, you know, you can easily find SBC cards on the market by sorting like this over here, going to Footbin and sorting by nationality and sorting by price or by position uh, is a great way to find some SBC cards, right? There's a lot of Spanish right mids, but somebody like Carlos Jill or somebody who's even a little higher rated like uh, Castellejo, 79 rated right mid that is from AC Milan. So he is a Spanish player in the Serie A where there's a lot of Spanish players in La Liga. So if we go back to here and look up Castellejo, He's just more expensive because there's you need the different players from different leagues and different nationalities to complete these uh, advanced SBCs. And that's what is driving the cost up on a lot of these cards. Also, when you're using Footbin right now, you have to do take those prices on Footbin with a grain of salt because Footbin is not updating very fast at the moment. It is very slow. So just be careful when you're looking at prices and you see a card you're like, oh my gosh, that is so cheap. It actually, or that is so expensive, it actually might not be that price on the actual game. So just a heads up there for some of you guys that are grinding the menus at the moment, just kind of keep that in mind that some of these prices that Footbin has listed are not updating very, very fast. Now, SBC solutions are starting to come out on Footbin as well. So you're gonna to start to see these pop up and people are gonna to start to use these. So what I mentioned about trading with the SBC solutions is gonna start becoming very, very viable with a lot more people on the game today. So definitely take a look out for this. If you're on the market right now and you're doing stuff, we're gonna have a couple videos on different methods to trade, of course, coming in the next couple of days on the web app, because I know a lot of you guys are gonna be playing games on the console and still trading on the web app if there's no glitch. So we'll talk about that and talk through some trading methods here very, very soon. But again, EA Access is today. The 10 hour trial will start. People will be playing games. There'll be more demand for players and a lot more packs will be opened. Foot drafts will be played, squad battle rewards will be opened on Sunday and stuff like that. And it's really starting to get into the real FIFA mode. Although a lot of us are just still on uh, the web app after today. So hopefully you guys had a good time today on your web app. Let me know if you have any questions down below, keeping, selling, anything like that. And of course, if you are new around here, hit the uh, subscribe button. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And if you enjoy the rebrand, let me know. Uh, definitely spend some time on that, figuring out what we wanted. And I think it looks awesome. So if you guys enjoy it, let me know down below, of course, as well. Again, if you enjoyed it, leave a thumbs up. It's been Nate, the Foot Account. Catch you guys later. Peace.